and welcome to a brand new season of Off The Menu Season 4! We are in a brand new kitchen. Thank you to our gorgeous partners with Scope. Mwah, we love you guys. And we're going to be cooking on a record-breaking burner. I'm not going to be doing this by myself. I have the gorgeous, the talented, the record-breaker herself, Hilda Massey! It's me, it's me. I'm here. I'm excited to be here. Thank you so much. Hey girl! Please, is this how we're going to be doing fire away? Come to me, come to me, come to me! Hi! Oh, get it, get it, yes, yes, work, work! Hey! It's so good to have you. Oh, wait, I'm having you. No, no you're having, having me. I'm having you. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank, Thank you so much for coming. I thought she'll be tired by now, but she's got so <laughs> much energy. I think if your no, your aura is very, oh, it's very thanks, calming. Thanks. It's interesting. I think it's we're feeding off each other. Cause girl, I'm tired too, but I'm not as tired as you. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna be learning some stuff off of you as well, because Hilda, as you know, is an incredible chef. You want to learn from me? I want to learn from you. Yeah. So we're gonna be doing this together. Yeah. Don't think because you know you came dressed looking cute, you're not going to cook. Oh, we are wearing cook. slippers, my sister. Oh yeah. We are wearing slippers. So this is this is the first <laughs> guest that have been the same height. Like we are. Yeah. And they were trying to they were trying to stop us, mm -hmm. but I mean I came here wearing my legendary huh? record breaking record breaking slippers. slippers. You know. And so I got my wearing her slippers too. I got my crocs as well. I'm not wearing heels today, guys. Not I'm the so lifting happy. of legs. You know. Well, welcome to the show. Thank you. To kick it off, because you know we decided to go back to the roots. So what are we cooking? We are making buka stew. It's literally one of my favorite favorite stews. I, I think me. it's. I think. Oh, uh, I thought like English. Mama told food. See, can't you see their faces? Ah, uh, see how they are smiling. All the aroma. All the aroma. All the kenge. I mean, I see roundabout. That's it. I see bombs. Bombs. Bomb. I see beef. Beef. There's egg. Oh. There's fuku. Well, Shaki. Lit. No, Everything. Man. High five. We deserve it. Mm. We're about to. Should we get started? We're making another history. All right. Oh, oh my God. I'm going to be a record breaker too. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get started. So should we start? Yes. Okay. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to chop off our meats. Okay. You know, so let me get the chopping board over here. Mm -hmm. And then, what can I get you to do? Because Hilda's in the kitchen, she's got to cook. Okay. Let me remove my wing. Okay, remove it, remove it, remove I it. I put it in my pocket. Okay. So maybe you cut the onions and the pepper for all our blending. I mean, I'll cut the meats. Ah, don't give me shakara work. Ah, me, I, I can't work. I don't want to give you smelly, no, you smelly see that. meat. Ah. Too. Uh -uh. I mean, I know you can work. Hundred hours, you can work. <laughs> hey. Okay, so onions. So the onions, the tomato, Everything. the tatashi, ah, okay. roto. Do you like so it you spicy? Take it, yes. No. Oh, hey. What's okay. Bukati? It's spice. not the nota. Got taleno. You know. <laughs> So Hilda, mm -hmm. how are you feeling? I feel good. You know? I feel blessed. Really? Yeah. I mean, this is our first time like physically meeting. Mm -hmm. And your energy has just been, it feels like I've known you for so long. I know, right? Like, I just love it. The energy Maybe it's has because been amazing. we are <laughs> Maybe that's what it is. We're bonding on the height. We're short people. <laughs> that's what it is. Vertically challenged. No, we're not short. We're introduction to tall. Oh! Once you are shorter than us, you are short. That's it. I like that. Very simple. That's good. That's good. Then I'm not no. short. Yeah, I'm not short. If you short. are shorter than me, then you are short. Mm. Mm. I'm sorry. Ah, yeah, I wish you adjust my height. So you can add, you can talk small. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Oh my goodness. So tell me about this process. Tell me about how, you know, you even thought about doing this. I don't, hmm. I feel like, honestly, like five years ago, I just thought about it. But like, so this has been planning for five years. Yeah, simply, like simply hmm. put. So I just thought about it. I was telling my brother that, you know what? What if somebody was to cook for like a very long time, mm. you know? And at the time, I did not know there was even a, a record, like a record yeah. or anything like that. Then the year after, we just just said about it. Then the year after, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sake smelly pale you home. Know? <laughs> <laughs> the next year, I now like applied, you know, and then oh, I you so you have to apply time. for it. Oh yes, you have to apply. You have okay, to apply. So you have to get on the Guinness World Record, you know, sites. Yeah. Um, find the record that you're trying to uh, break, break. Mm. you know if the record isn't existing you can apply to like create the record, as the record okay, exactly okay. you know so i did that and i think at the time that was when chef Blatter had just gotten the record so i don't know if that's a policy but i remember reading or maybe i didn't read correctly but i was told that oh i had to wait a couple years oh, and okay. you know and a couple years was basically 2023 so I'll say a lot of things had to happen because at the time I did not have, I was not a brand per se. Like I was not Hilda Bassi. There was no my food. I was Hilda, obviously I was Hilda, Hilda Bassi. Bassi but like, you there know. was no like my food by Hilda. The girl was still broke. <laughs> I, mean, I didn't mean that I have money now, but you know. You know Girl, you got, she got money. Don't listen to her. She has money. Uh, please don't chase my head fast. <laughs> we do do need help. So um, sometime last year, I decided that, you know what, I'm going to do this. And I pretty much started working towards it, saving for it. And yeah. then I told my now executive producer, she was my friend at the time, that, you know, this is what I'm trying to do. Right. And, you know, and she was she was very spot on. The minute we had the conversation, mm. she got on her phone, created a WhatsApp group, you know, spoke to um, another amazing lady. Her name is Choma. Right. And we pretty much just fleshed it out. And that was how she started like building the team right you know, we had the conversation where we we're like we know we're going to need pr right we spoke to a few people and obviously <laughs> not everybody was like supportive yeah, of excited course. i remember someone telling us that you know what i need you to come to me when you guys are like ready like ready ready oh you know? okay yeah but honestly i don't feel i don't feel a type of way about it yeah you know so for me so she you know spoke to nene um, the head of um, Blanche Eagle, that's um, the PR company that we worked with for traditional media. Okay. And Nene was very excited about it. She jumped on it. She had a conversation with Shay, the head of Echo Digital. Amazing. Another PR company that we worked with as well. And Shay was like, you know what, whatever you need, I will deploy my team. And that was how we started having our strategy sessions. And you know, it was a whole, it was a whole process. It took about five months to plan, mm. you know, the actual attempt, like the actual event. Wow, mm. five months. Yeah. Like I said, I've never met Hilda before, and I find myself rooting for this stranger that I've never spoken to, never met. <laughs> but I just think it was just your aura, your energy. Yeah, uh, yeah like it's, 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 it's lovely. It's you know, I, I, I kind of also feel like it was honestly just the will of God, because I feel like if, if it's God's time for you to do something, he will honestly have, just make I it agree. work out for you. I agree. You know, there was a time where we couldn't even, like, the, there wasn't enough food for everyone because, again, there had become so many people. Right. But people were still there under the rain, under the sun, chanting. And it was just, I, and there's no logical explanation to it other than it was just a bit of God. Like, it was God's time for this to happen. And, you know, it was, I was, I'm probably just walking in my purpose. And that's, that's why right. it worked out. Walk in your purpose. Do you, you, you see the English, the way it's just growing up my tongue. <laughs> Very nice. And your mom was, of course, your number one supporter. Oh, she was there with you. I, I think remember. we all fell in love with your mom as well. Yeah. yeah. No. I think this is the point that is important to tell you guys that when you're making bookers too, you need a lot more tatashe, pepe, and bawa than you need tomatoes. So that's one mistake that we tend to make when we're making things like this. Did wow. Really packing so much tomatoes and using a lot less of this. Then always remember to take out the seeds. Now you might get lucky if you don't take out the seeds, mm -hmm. but it's better to be safe than sorry. Removing the seeds from your tata shake prevents the stew from tasting bitter. So, I mean, the record was you were going to do nine to six hours, but yes. then you set your own record. Like, how? What kept you going? What was the the motivation behind you? Keep, you know, wanted to even set your own record. You know, because again, when when you do something like this, you want to 
have the record for as long as, as possible. Can, of course. You know, you want to hold on to me for as long as possible. And I feel like that's why Chef Lata had, you know, beat the record by almost 20 hours when she did hers, or about 15 hours when she did hers. So for me, I was like, you know what? I have to do at least a significant amount of time, at least 10 hours. Right. And honestly, the, the last, the extra four hours that was added, let me just to round it up. It was just to round it up. Let me yeah. just say I did it for my friends. Oh. You know, I did it for my my followers and just we needed more things to celebrate, you yeah. know. So yeah. So you really had a whole army like yes. rooting It was for an you. entire village. I love that Hilda. Honestly. Countries uh, even. Country eh? <clears throat> Presidents even, <laughs> prime ministers. I mean, even. I spoke to the vice president in the hello, phone. my sister. Hello, I did, and I was so I. It's just that you know things like this happen, but what is in front of you is so much bigger yeah. that there's no time for you to be like, oh my god, oh mama, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I mean, few days after you um the. Um, setting your records. I saw you on live. I'm like, this girl, go and sleep. Because they were chasing me on that live. Go and sleep. But it's just, I have a very strong, I feel this, I feel a strong sense of gratitude, you know, to everyone that has been supportive the entire time. Yeah. You know, before, during, after. Because again, like you don't need to be and you are. You just are. Yeah. And that, I think it was just strong in my chest that like, you know, you just need to say thank you. It's important that you say thank you. Yeah. Like I wish I could cook for everybody. I'd just be like, let's do big party. Everybody, everybody come and eat. Everybody come and eat. You know, honestly, if that was possible, on I would that, that's what I would love to do. Yeah. Just to share that experience. But just because I can't, the littlest way I can to, to just appreciate them and say thank you. And you know, that's how I feel like no matter how tired I am, I see somebody on the street and they tell me, oh, can I take a picture of my Yeah. Yes. Yeah, take yeah. your picture yeah. because you deserve it honestly yeah. you know it, i'm just i'm just so grateful and, and like i'm so grateful to god i'm so grateful to nigeria i'm so grateful to everybody across the world that was so supportive so invested ah, you know mm. in this like we're all invested though yes. we're literally all counting that's okay she's reached the 86 hour mark okay she's reached the 90 hour mark you know and i mean there was this time i feel like everybody both online and offline were praying with me because it looks like i was about to drop this <laughs> i watched the video and i was like i'm glad you people did not give up <laughs> All right, let's go over here. Okay, so we're going to cook our meat now. Very mm -hmm. beautiful. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Know, you. It means that meat is expensive. Oh, we have like budget this, though. This we have budget. Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. So Hilda. Yeah. I mean, girl. I need mm -hmm. you. Yes, I need seasoning cubes. Or seasoning powder, salt, and, here, and the perfectly chopped up onions that you that you helped me slice. Thank you. So just add a little bit in there. Mm. It's really sweet, sweet panache. It's such such finesse. Such finesse. Nice, mm. fine, nice. We we'll use the rest for for the stew. For the stew, exactly. Um, I mean, you're trending but not just for your, you know, your amazing resilience. You're also trending because, you know, you're a baddie. <laughs> like, let's be honest. <laughs> you are a baddie. I mean, I'm gonna be honest. You, um, <laughs> that's not lying. I one thing we're not gonna do is lie, all right? <laughs> you're a baddie, you know, you're young, you're beautiful, and I feel like people are talking about the way you dress. Um, in the kitchen and outside of the kitchen. Are you gonna put this one? I feel like we should cook this separate. separately, mm -hmm. you know, because my mom used to say that it will stain the stew. Oh my bob beje, oh my bob ojo beje. Um so yeah, like you're you're gorgeous, you're young, and um, I'm going to add one rodo to this. This is chef style. <laughs> but if it's me, I don't blend it. Uh, I had it like that. Exactly. <laughs> um and just a little bit of water because the water from the meat is going to come out as well. So I'm just gonna add a little bit and just cover this up. Okay. Yeah, so people are talking about the way you dress, you know, inside the kitchen and outside of the kitchen. What do you have to say about that? Like, the way I dress good or the way I dress bad? I mean, like I said, <laughs> I think you're a baddie. <laughs> so it will never be bad for me. You know, um, um, 
I feel like fashion is like is honestly an expression of self and it evolves as time goes on. You know, there were things that I would I wore when I was in my early twenties, like yeah. when I just turned 19, 20. There were things that I thought was cool then yeah. that I don't think it's cool now. So I honestly just feel like I express, you know, um, how I feel about myself based off of how I dress and that evolves. So tomorrow I might change the exactly. way I dress. I might, you know, I might tweak my style or adjust my style a little bit just based off of how I'm growing and how I'm changing and how I'm evolving. You know, but again, I've, I've heard a few things. I've yeah. tried not to read a lot of things. That's you know, I try to ignore yeah, that's you know, a lot way. of it. But honestly, I just feel like it's what's in your head. It's not what's. It's not what you're wearing. You understand me? So it didn't really bother me much. I'm Solia yeah, Abada, and I endorse this message. I don't know what it is with me and small spoons, like. I just prefer small I was about spoons. To throw you shade, but it's I will shade that you are not too. that much taller than me. Or let's just be honest. That is why I do not throw you. You are not shade that much because tall. oh yeah. I would have said that you are looking. There, 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 there. Because you're acting like you're now six foot or something. And girl, you ain't. Girl, you better stop tiptoeing. Like exactly. I'd have wear my use so because exactly. now I move within solidarity now. Ah! Like, I can't see somebody on that <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> All right, so we're gonna leave this to cook. Now we're going to pop our beans on the fire as well. We're going to bleach our oil, reduce our pepper, and then bish bash bosh our puka stew Simply is on the way. This yeah. food goes with. That's it. Aya and Kenem. I don't know what she said, but I believe it, it goes with. Aya and Kenem. Exactly. Mm. You get it. Oh my talent. Oh my god, oh my doma talent. Oh my Oh shoot. Oh shampra pra pra. Oh hey! Who could it bang? Kill on Jabe. You didn't put spoon so that it would done fast. I didn't know that. What kind of spoon? Like I do spoon. Aluminium spoon now, stainless. Is that a real thing? Like eating spoon. No, but is that a real thing? Yes now. So you put spoon inside Yeah, it? like you put like four or five spoons. Hill that stop. I'm not so I'm serious. No, now, like some of you watching this, like you know, guys, you know please this. can you comment and let me know if she's trying to pull my legs or no, is this real? Like, okay, put spoon. But you know about onions? Oh, of course, now uh, onions. Uh -huh. uh, you know about potash? Potash, yes. A spoon too. Mm -hmm. Join it. Let me go Don't worry. Yeah, we make Don't worry. Okay, he'll just teach me something new. I, I have don't actually. Don't spoon. Why anything like this? You know? Like metal. Yeah, met mm -hmm. metallic stuff. <laughs> So you yeah. just so you just leave it in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chug it inside. Okay. Chug it, chug it. Oh, okay, chug it, chug it. Okay. And then you just leave it. Yes. And it will make yeah. it. And it will make it soft. Like pong pong yang. Sin sin. Siyong idem pong. Siyong idem pong. Again, mokeng pong. Hello. See, you could have been an aqua bomb baby. I feel it. You're getting, you're getting. She's getting, she's actually getting intonation. I feel it. Miss F, I want to boil my own. Oh yeah, boil your. This is for cool and um. A dog. Yes, you can boil your Give own. Give me a small spoon. I, I don't know what it is. I'm small, me and small spoon. Because you're crying, right? <laughs> Get out. Alright. So we're going to boil the beans. Let me try the water. Thank you. Okay, so we're going to leave our beans to cook for about 30, 40 minutes until it's nice and soft. And soft. Exactly. Over here though, guys, we have our bleached oil. Now we poured it in here and we just left it on super low heat and it's been bleaching for like 30 minutes. Now I just want to show you the difference between regular oil and bleached oil. So this is obviously our palm oil. This is in our palm oil. <laughs> and this is the color, this gorgeous, vibrant orange that we're used to. Now, this is what bleached oil now looks like. Can you see the difference? It's almost like granite oil. Yeah. So that's what that's the color that we're going for. Okay, so we've got tomato, we've got tatashi, we've got uh, rodo, we've got onions. And what was that pepper again that you said? Bawa. Bawa. Maybe you have bawa so you can add it. Hmm. But remove the seeds because I'm gonna do what makes it bitter. 
Oop. No, it's a shade will make it too bitter. Mm. Bow and make it too hot. So, just remove the seed from the two. Alright. And then add our onions. Okay, should I add it? Yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Very nice game. You are oh, so nice. Then you have it like this. Wonderful. And I'm just add a little bit of water. Okay. And then we're gonna blend it. I'm gonna add a little bit more water actually. Okay. And then we're gonna blend it. And one of those always pay attention to like the consistency of the pepper because mm -hmm. if you're making buka stew, it's supposed to be smooth. Exactly. It's not rough. It's, it's not, not soft. at a dindi. Well, it yes. is at a dindi, but smooth at a dindi. Like smooth, exactly. Yes. So just allow it to blend, just allow like what you're saying. Nice and smooth. Very nice. Enjoy the tantalizing range of golden penny noodles with its range of delicious flavors. Golden penny noodles with its chicken flavor, jollof flavor, and goat's meat pepper soup flavor. Now available in jollof hot hot flavor. Alright, so let's just cook our rice. rice. Yes, 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 yes. Let's cook our rice. Get some water. Do you put vegetable oil in your rice when boiling it? I was just about to ask you the same thing. You do? I do sometimes. Uh, me also sometimes I need maybe small onion. Just a little bit. And sometimes I'll flavor it with like milk. Oh, or, yeah, like coconut milk, coconut milk okay. or like herbs. Like there's so much you can do with white rice that it tastes so nice that you just want to eat it as is. Let's use some of this golden penny vegetable oil. Is that good? Sauce is behind you. Where is it? It's over there. Here. Okay, so we've got our meat going on, we've got our rice, our beans is, you know, boiling. We already bleached our oil. Now let's just go. So nice. Everything is going on now. So we're going to boil our egg and then we're going to fry our plantain and then just bring everything together. You know? Make a feast. What was that? A feast. Oh, make a feast. Mm. Yeah, so our meat is done. Could you pass me? Yeah. Pass you a spoon. Thank you. Awesome. Oh, it's so good. And you know your tr your trick actually works. Your tr her trick works, guys. It her trick works. Listen like, to me. Yeah, she knows what she's talking about. <laughs> the meat is soft. The pomo is soft. The beef Everything. is soft. The smells are soft. Shaki run. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. It works. You did it. Yeah, it yeah. Works. It really does work actually. And our our edo. Our edo. fuku and edo. Fuku and edo. That's done as well. It's done as well. Okay, great. Okay, so we're going to be boiling this, um, frying this rather mm -hmm. in the bleach, bleach oil, oil. That we're using for the stew as well. So I'll just yes. bring that. Started off with Buka stew because I feel like Buka stew is that one stew that anybody doesn't matter, get man or guy, office worker, bank uh, owner, kineko, kineko, like everybody loves Buka stew. Like I've never met anybody that said, I know. Hey, like Buka stew. food in general, oh. says like I'm alive. Mama, mama everything food. nice. Yeah. Boy. That's when you go to like questions like that. You find like. MD discussing football with the driver. That's that's 
Boka Stew, reuniting Nigerians since 1962. Do you understand? We should put this. We should put this <laughs> on a t-shirt. Yes. <laughs> we should put this on a shirt or something. Oh my gosh, guys! Look at that. Look how golden those are. Like, it's perfect. Mm. This too go nice. No, it will. Let me see with your cap. No, 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 no. Take it. It's not just by mouth. Take it. Like, come my man, don't lose focus, cause anything <laughs> going, it's going, it's going, gone. Oh! This is still you call blown. For no, blown. That pomo, I love pomo. Hey, so they're sheep, sheep. Go and stand there. Go and cut plantain. No, what? You don't like pomo? No, go and cut plantain because you have stolen like two. Oh. Go and cut plantain so that cruel people will see what to eat. Hmm? Sorry. Cut plantain. Uh, I'm happy, no. Let me cut plantain. Mm -hmm. While Hilda works on, on the meat. But Hilda, if I see your mouth jumping, rice is going. If rice I see is your, going. your mouth rice jumping, rice is going. <laughs> What bad do me? Uh uh. Mm. Just this small this thing that I send you. Mm. Ah, see you. God have done it for you. What happened? That one, one is not good it. because. No, uh uh. No, it's quality, seconds rule. Quality, not really quality control. I can't give my crew people this now. Ah. It's not good. Let me sacrifice myself. You're sacrificing yourself, Abby. Yeah, because. Such, such a nice girl. I know. I care so much <laughs> about you guys. Yes, okay. Going. Now, Hilda, how do you like your plantain? Round, round. Wow. So that we mix it with the rice. Oh. We mix everything with the beans. Okay. Okay, let me just move this out of the way and let us boil the egg. So, oh, teamwork makes the dream work. Work. Water. Me. Okay. So we're gonna pop our eggs in here. Oh yeah, let's turn this one on now. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to make our soup. See me, eh? All this crank, crank, crank. At now the bottom. Now they give them. Um, That's rice. what I think makes the stew even better. So now we have the the onions. onions. What onions? Alubosa. Alubosa. What is onions in? Onion. Oyem. We gonna make them with the onion. You know, but then. Yeah, you know, onion can't. Onion can't. No, but why does it sound like you guys are singing? <laughs> so the onions goes in. Yes. And then we season the onions. Oh, you like to season it? Yes. Okay, yes. okay, 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 okay. So season the onions. Season the onions. Mm -hmm. So next goes in our pepper mix. I feel like you're a bad influence on me. Like, <laughs> let's be posh. Look like who's posh. talking. Look who is talking. Like, let's be posh. Mm. So once you put this in, you're just gonna leave it. You know, give it a quick stare and you let it, you know. You let it, you know, bubble the bubble. Uh, you let it what? It just, uh, bubble, bubble, bubble the bubble. <laughs> May it rise. But guys, we're gonna leave this now. It's going to bubble the it's going to bubble the bubble. <laughs> Yeah. And we added our safety net. You know, before we used the capital investment oil, but now we added our oh, safety shit. net. Um, this you know, is why we don't use long spoon. Uh, uh, somewhere uh, around <laughs> we did all this. Now, um, when you can see just all the oil floating on the top, that means that the water and tomatoes has evaporated. completely evaporated. Exactly. So what we're going to do now is, you know, we're boiling our eggs, so we're going to peel the eggs. Then we're going to proceed to add the meat inside just so that, you know, everything we jollificate together. Yeah. This fuku and egg door. And you know sometimes when you go to Boca, you see one or two fish just floating on top of the stew. 
Eso. Ah. Bala. Oh my gosh. A whole fish. I want big boys, don't matter, can you? Me, I can fight too. Ah. But if you don't give me my things complete. <laughs> so I'm just gonna add that in there. Well, this is what you call fully loaded. I'm loaded. Fully, fully loaded. Ah. Even the pot is angry. Our beans is done, our rice is done, our plantain is fried. Food is ready. Yo. Does this bring back any memory? Yes! Ah! Go Hilda, go Hilda, go! Go Hilda, go Hilda! We actually lifted this whole setup <laughs> from your award winning <laughs> situation and we brought it here for you. Um, so, yeah, let's dig in. Let me know what you think. But to be honest, I can't even say let me know what you think because we cook we this, this together. together. We ain't no sweets Exactly. Now. You'll be a lie. Anyways. All right, let's, 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 let's get into it. I don't have it out. I mean. What's next for you? What have you got working in the pipeline? I said, you drop this rice. <laughs> okay, what's next in the pipeline? I mean, mm -hmm. there's actually so many amazing things that were working on expanding on the restaurant so we've opened up a bit to you know allow investors to come in Love you know that. my help us please please <laughs> um i'm working on the cookware line as well working on my very next class i'm looking to do quite a number of you know food tour experiences across different countries as well just so that you know the people that we're watching and tuning in can experience, get, yeah, get your to experience food. the food and experience the recipes as well and you know Working with brands, you know, there are quite a number of offers coming in. We love that. You know, so, you know, we're just all about, you know, getting the bag, fulfilling yeah. God's purpose and eating this right. <laughs> Honestly, thank you so much, Hilda. Thank for so taking for time me. out of your busy schedule. To be honest, she should be sleeping right now. I don't care. She should sleep for a whole week but straight. But don't worry, this price is well, okay. Enough, and so we have a little goodie bag for you to take home you? from our partners here at Go it's heavy, girl. Mm -hmm. At Golden Penny, oh, we have God. a combo pack. It's filled with everything that you need, girl. Oh, thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Let's uh -huh. take it. <laughs> <laughs> Unless she's tired. Let's eat, thank let's you. eat. Thank you guys for tuning in to another episode of Off The Menu with me, Soliette Bajaya, on Accelerate TV. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you again very, very soon. Season four, yay! <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Hilda Bassi, and you are watching Off The Menu with Soliette Bajaya on Accelerate TV. The food's amazing, the conversations are out of this world. You definitely don't want to miss it.